Hey, welcome back to the channel. Now, it's been a while since I did a Tutorial Tuesday video, but so many people have messaged me about this that I had to get this done. And today I'm gonna to show you how to fix Minecraft crashing with an exit code zero on your Chromebook. This is a pretty easy fix. And since you're watching this video, I'm gonna assume that you know what this is all about. But in case you don't, here's the scenario. So you got Minecraft installed on your Chromebook. Maybe you watch my video or somebody else's. You go to launch it, go into a game and boom, it just crashes and you get a message, uh, game crashed, and it gives an exit code zero at the bottom. Now, the reason for this, it has to do with the version of Java that you have installed. So what we're gonna do is install a newer version of Java and force Minecraft to use that version. It's really pretty easy. And because you're on this video, I'm gonna assume that you already have Linux set up and Minecraft installed. So let's jump onto the Chromebook and knock this out. All right, so here we are on our Chromebook desktop. And like I said, we need to download a newer version of Java and set up our Minecraft launcher to use that. So we're gonna go out to our terminal. And the first thing we're gonna do is do sudo apt update. That just looks for updated versions of your software. And then we'll do sudo apt upgrade. If it finds anything, mine didn't. I'm just doing this to show you. What that'll do is that'll just update all the software that's on your in Linux on your Chromebook to make sure we have all the newest versions. So we're starting fresh. So now we're gonna download and install the newer version of Java. So just type in sudo apt install default dash JDK. Hit enter and then hit yes. This is gonna download the open JDK, the newest version available on our Chromebook and install it. This will take a few minutes, so don't worry if it takes a little while. Uh, just let it run and install and then I'll come back when that's all complete. All right, so Java is all installed. So now we need to find out the path that that's installed in because we're gonna take that and put it into the Minecraft launcher. So we're gonna do cd slash usr slash lib and then hit another slash and then jvm slash and then hit tab a few times. You're gonna see a bunch of directories in there. We wanna go into that Java-11 OpenJDK. That may be a different version if you're doing this you know, later than this video. So whatever that latest version is, just type in Java dash and then that version number. And then if you hit tab, it'll autofill the rest of it so you don't have to type that whole path. And then we are gonna to go to BIN. So what you wanna do is type in PWD that's gonna print out the directory that we're in and make it very easy for us to just take our mouse or a touchpad, click and hold and drag it across. And then when we let go, it's just gonna copy it to the clipboard. So now we got that in our clipboard, we can go ahead and launch the Minecraft launcher. Once we're in the launcher, we wanna go into the installations area up the top here and then find the version of Minecraft that you wanna set up. In this case, we're gonna do the 1.16.5 and we're just gonna click on these three dots over here, go down to edit. Click on more options. Now, as you can see, I already have it in here. Yours is just gonna look like this. It's gonna be blank, but you wanna make sure that you put it in this Java executable. So just click in there, hit Control V to paste it in, and then we're gonna do one more slash and type Java, J-A-V-A. -A. So that's gonna point exactly to the Java executable. All we have to do now is hit save and we should be good to go. We can hit play, jump into our Minecraft and we should be able to get right into our game now. So I'm gonna skip ahead to when this is loaded in and then load into the game and show you that it's working now. All right, so we're almost loaded in and this is where I would normally crash out to that exit code zero. As you can see, it didn't crash out, loaded right into the game. And once it all loads in, we can go and play. Obviously, this is not the optimized version. Check out my other video if you wanna see how to optimize this. But as you can see, we're in the game, no crashing, and we're good to go. There you go, hopefully that fixed your problem. If it didn't, please let me know down in the comment section below. If you're having crashing for another reason, also let me know that and I'll look into it and see what I can do. Maybe do a video for you. Thanks so much for stopping by. Make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell if you wanna see more like this and I'll see you in the next video.